Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. That's because I'm picking up a new Bulat Slinger. Make sure my truck's in park here. Uh, Y'all know where I get the Bulat Slingers. Uh, Tolliver's up here in Manchester. But, um, here's what I'm picking up. Uh, my phone has been blowing up hundreds and hundreds of you guys said, when are you going to film the new Ruger American Generation 2? Well, uh, I don't, I didn't know anything about that ahead of time. So when you guys found out about the new Ruger Americans is when I found out about it, which as of today was like three days ago or something. So I called my FFL Tollivers and I said, Hey, y'all heard about the new Rugers? They said, we got a bunch of them on the way. I said, woo, put my name on a seven millimeter 08 and one of the two, two threes. Uh, they got me one of the seven millimeter 08s, but he said the whole shipment was gone in like five minutes. Everybody and their brother wanted these Ruger Americans, which I don't blame them, but they got me one of the seven millimeter 08s inside. We're going to pick it up, check it out. I'm bringing them in on trade. Uh, this right here. This is my Ruger American Classic, I guess they call them, in 7mm 08. And I got some nice wheeler rings on there. I got a really nice Primary Arms SLX Hunter. It's the 4 to 12. But this thing, I took a deer with. Uh, if you put in 7mm 08 versus deer, this is normally the first video that pops up. I took a whitetail with a hundred uh, at 130 yards with Remington Corlock with this thing. Thing flings them good, uh, but uh, I'm gonna trade this seven millimeter 08 for the new Ruger American. Show you the there's a seven millimeter 08 right there. <clears throat> I kind of hate to get rid of things ever, especially when I took a deer with. Uh, but contrary to popular belief, I'm not full of moolahs, so. Uh, I'm gonna throw this in to help pay for the new Ruger 7mm 08 that has a threaded barrel on it. And we're fixing to show you all the fancy stuff that comes on this new thing. I'm not even quite sure. I honestly didn't even really hardly read about them. I just know everybody wants to see them. So we're uh, picking one up. What else was I gonna tell you guys? But, I mean, I'm gonna delete this part out of the video here in a day or two, but, uh, if you want this 7mm 08, uh, with a nice scope on it that was in a bunch of videos, uh, you know where to find it. Up here at Tolliver's. Uh, yeah, but don't be blowing their phone up unless you seriously want it. I'm telling you, that is the place to be. If they can't get it, nobody can get it. Yep. I got it. Right here. New Ruger American Gen 2. And, uh, yeah. If you need anything, Go holler at Tolliver's. Like I said, if they can't get it, nobody can get it. They even had a brand new 360 buck hammer Henry in there, which is pretty sweet. My truck makes a lot of noises. But they already sold out of my truck is ghetto. They already sold shh, they already sold out of all the Ruger American Gen 2s, but they said they got more on the way. So hey. Uh, yeah. Don't blow them up. If you ain't serious about something, but if you, if you don't get something, give them a shout and tell them, tell them I said hey. But uh, let's run home and take a take a look at this Ruger. I did trade them that other Ruger American. Uh, yeah, traded them that Ruger American in the scope for this Ruger. So let's get home and take a look at this new Ruger Gen 2 Ruger American 7 millimeter 08. See what we think about it. Okay, back in the house, we got the Ruger American Generation 2, and we're going to take a look at it and see what we think about it. So, uh, yeah, the box is a little bit different than the OG. It's a little bit wider. The packaging is a little bit fancier, um, and it's quite honestly kind of blows my mind at, uh, well... How much nicer this is compared to the classics uh, so for for essentially the same price so there's how the boxing is now um, it's still in those white Ruger cardboard boxes but they have a foam cutout now it's a pretty cheap cheap old foam cutout it's not some kind of crazy fancy thing like I don't you might want to keep this 
and put it in a box or something or in a travel bag, but it's not really that kind of foam. Uh, but everything that's in here, lock that comes with everything, of course. This, I have no idea what that is. No idea. Always throw those things in the trash. Um, the magazine, which is the AICS style now. Instead of the little flush mag, I'll show you this in a second, but um, it's different than the first generation Ruger Americans. Then the bolt right here. Always make sure you, your bolt and your mag is in there before you leave the shop. Um, and then uh, the thing that we're, we're most interested in this right here, let me set this down and be, uh, just want to show you this foam here. So, I mean, it's kind of neat. I'm sure it doesn't cost them much, but previously they would just throw it in a cardboard box, uh, but it's a little bit nicer, swankier packaging, form fit to the uh, blue light slinger. I'm knocking stuff over here, but uh, get this mag and this bolt put in here. Uh, that's the right way, yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. And there you go. This is the brand new Ruger American. And I'm going to show you close-ups here in a second. But So the Stevens 334 came out, I don't know, a couple months ago. And you guys have blown my phone up to try a Stevens 334. Well, we got one on order. It's been on order for a while, but it should be here really soon. I think in the next week or two. So stay tuned for that. Stevens 334. Ooh, lot slinger. I'm excited about that. Budget-friendly thing from Savage Stevens under the Stevens branding. Pretty cool, keeping things budget friendly. Well, this is groundbreaking because at the price, um, it's it's insane. It's I, Seriously, if they can do the volumes, they're probably going to really hurt all the other major brands, is my assumption. You guys know I'm a Ruger American fan. I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos of them grouping well. The, the classics, the Predators, the Ranches, all of them. I've had almost all of them in every single cartridge. Uh, but here's the Generation 2. Uh, like I said, hundreds and hundreds of you guys between the comments and the DMs on Facebook and the Instagram, even y'all emailing me said, hey, have you heard about the Generation 2? Uh, I heard about it when you guys heard about it. Uh, I don't, you know, I know one person at Ruger and they didn't tell me about it. Um, Sometimes Ruger employees like on the line will message me and say, that's how I got my seven millimeter PRC. Somebody on the line at Ruger DM'd me and said, hey, we just built a bunch of seven millimeter PRCs. You need to get an order in for one. And that's how I got my seven millimeter PRC is I called my FFL and said, give me one of these as soon as you can. And uh, when it popped up at the distributor, boop, they got me one. But I called my FFL Tollivers, you guys saw there, um, awesome people. Like I said, if they can't find you something, nobody can. Um, they took my 7mm 08 on trade with that nice primary arms uh, optic on there. Uh, yeah, if you want that thing, call them and, and they'll uh, get it to you. Anyways, this is the new Generation 2 that I bought from Tollivers. Nobody give me this. Uh, people all the time assume I just get all this stuff for free. And uh, the truth is, most of the stuff you see, I'm picking up. Especially when it comes to blue light slingers. But, let's start here. Butt pad. Uh, big time upgrade from the old one. And I'll compare them side by side here in a second. I'll go grab one. Cheek riser. Length of pull adjustment. You can take this out. Cheek riser. Uh, we'll figure that out here. Can you just pull it up? I don't know. Does it even adjust? I don't know. I got to look into it deeper. Um, then we talked about the mags. A little bit different mag. AICS style as opposed to before they were flush. Again, this is 7mm 08. Uh, comes with a rail just like all the other ones did. Um, and it's not milled in. That's an actual rail that you can see the screws. Always torque those uh, before you get your scope on. Then here's where the real big differences come in. This is a pretty heavy profile barrel. Much heavier profile than that black classic one that I previously had in 7mm 08. So pretty heavy profile barrel. Deep flutes in there. Threaded barrel with a muzzle brake. And then look at this finish. 
I pulled this one out here. <clears throat> what this kind of reminds me of is the, the style and finish that Vergara does. So here's my Vergara uh, BMR. That's a BMR, right? Let me make sure for somebody. Yeah, that's the BMR. So this is a Vergara BMR. Uh, kind of going for a little bit different look. And I actually like this stock better. You see how aggressive that forearm or foregrip, whatever you call it is. Uh, Vergara has a, a grip here too. But... I kind of like this more aggressive uh, approach to it. Uh, but yeah, that thing is sweet. And the uh, the price that you can get these for is very close to what the, uh, the Predators and the original ranches and those black classic ones have been going for uh, here recently. But uh, yeah. Ruger American, Generation 2, uh, give you another look at it, swing, uh, sling uh, mount there, one on the front, doesn't have two, it's, it's getting real popular for people to put two up here now, uh, you can adjust the trigger just like you always could, you can't adjust it externally, you gotta just take the action screws out and then you can adjust it and just drop it back in, but it's super easy to do. The safety uh, is a three position safety, which that's something new. I better talk about. Uh, there's your red, and then there's a two lines. That's kind of a, it's not super uh, obvious there how to do that. It kind of clicks over real easy. So there's a red, and then there's one notch. And then there's the two notches. So I think that's that's completely locked. Yeah, you can't open it. You got one in there, pull it all the way back, walking through the trees and stuff, that's not gonna come undone. Uh, people complained about that in the past. I've never once had that happen. I've had them in the woods bazillions of times. Uh, but then you got it there, then the bolt is free. And then all the way up in the red zone. What's this trigger feel like right out of the box? Normally they feel like four pounds and I crank them just about all the way down. Yeah, we're definitely gonna turn that down. Not bad, probably what most people are used to and would want. It's actually a little bit lighter than a lot of stuff comes out of the box. Uh, but I'm just in the habit of turning everything down as far as it goes. Yeah, that's not bad. That's probably where most people would prefer to have their Deer catching machine trigger set, set at. Uh, but now, uh, let me show you one side by side, and then I'm going to see if I can, if I have a spare optic real quick I can put on it. All right, so just to show you a quick comparison, this is the OG or original Ruger American that's been around for us. I don't, I'm not going to sit here and look up the dates or try to pretend I know the dates, but, uh, this is, I don't know, probably 10 years ago, maybe when they first came out with these. Generation one, this is the classic. Most of these are 22 inch barrels. This one is my 30 out six. I've had this thing five, six years. And then you got the generation two. So you can see the differences there. Uh, that barrel profile, much heavier now ready barrel now uh, one thing about the generation 2 that might be a con or something that people don't like as opposed to the classics which have the 22 inch barrels uh, these generation 2's are 20 inch barrels so a little bit shorter if I put the butt pad on the ground here you can see the difference right there so Considerably different. That's more than two inches, isn't it? Yeah, big time. Uh, but it's threaded 5 eighths by 24, so it's got a break on it. We can now do Schuster Machine 7 millimeter 08 stuff if we want to. That's going to be pretty rad. Uh, but yeah, quite a big difference. Fit and finish, styling. Uh, now, these were going back in the day you could get these for like 2.99 on sale now these have been going for 
five, six hundo, sometimes even more, depending on where you're at in supply and demand. These you can now get for close to, if not the same, as some of these. Uh, but yeah, super excited to get this thing out to the range. Um, I'm trying to catch some deers. I might be able to catch a deer before deer season is over with 7mm 08. That's my thing. I've already taken a deer with 7mm 08, and I'm kind of trying to do a deer video with something else. But we'll see what happens. Let me see if I have a scope that I can get ready for this thing. All right. I think I decided what scope to put on this. So 7mm 08. It's a deer catching cartridge. Not when you talk about long range, most people don't say seven millimeter 08 would be awesome. Will it do it? Yes. Go check out the seven millimeter 08 blue light drop video that we've done. Uh, but I think this is what I'm going to put on here. Uh, Arkin EPL four, four to sixteen by forty four first focal plane. But um, back in the day, you might put a three to nine by forty on a seven millimeter 08 and say, this is going to be that ticket. Well, this four to 16 is going to be plenty for us to take this thing out to a thousand. So, uh, I want to do some long range stuff. I'm actually going to be doing some loading myself. This is seven millimeter. Um, and we're going to do this thing long range. If these days, um, if the technology's out there, and it's not crazy expensive. I think it's better to have the technology. So this Arkin has a turret on top. Let me take this off. It says maximum torque, 18 inch pounds. And I got a little sticker thing on there. Uh, but here lately, I've been messing with Arkin. If you ask me, uh, I just, I did a video recently on good deals on optics. Bang for your buck. Um, Arkin Optics. I've been messing with here lately. Does it say it on that side? No, it says it on this side. Uh, but they're not expensive. Definitely go check them out. And they give us 25% off. It's one of those code things you put in hootie who, W H O T E W H O, and they give us 25% off. Uh, I've showed it in a couple videos here recently, but this is Arkin's essentially Mac Daddy top of the line, uh, which even in and of itself is not that expensive. This is the EP5. That's what I put on my Howa 1500 300 wind mag. Took my mule deer, no problem, at 430 yards. Boop, boop, boop. Dial it up. So, um, 300 wind mag is a little bit better ballistically for long range than 7mm 08 as far as carrying the energy out there for catching deers. But I think this is going to be perfect. It's not too terribly of a heavy optic. This, this one's not actually heavy at all. That one's a little bit heavier. Uh, but 20 inch barrel, it's pretty light as it is. Next time you see this thing, it's going to be sitting somewhere like that. And it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, I'm probably going to stay up and get all this slapped together so when I need to take it to the range and slide it in, she's going to be ready to go. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're looking for an optic, where you pick up one of these Rugers, um, take a look at Arkin. And that, like I said, that's one of the ones they give us 25% off, um, which ends up being a pretty ridiculous, crazy deal. Uh, if you know anybody that's got an Arkin, take a look through it. Uh, and I can sit here and tell you, for the money, um, it's hard to beat, uh, especially when you get 25% off. Where's that box? But I'm going to quit rambling, but you guys have been blowing up my phone for the past three days. Uh, when you see this video come out tomorrow, it'll be the past four days. Uh, have you got the new Ruger? Have you got the new Ruger? Have you got the new Ruger? Yes. Called Tolliver's. Said, have y'all heard of the new Ruger? They said, yep, we got some coming in today. I said, uh, put my name on the 7mm 08, and I'll come down there and, and pick it up. And that's what we did. Uh, so appreciate Tolliver's. Uh, they're, the, they're the best shop in the, in the land, I'm here to tell you. Um, and there's some real cool folks. But, uh, yeah. New Ruger American Gen 2. I'm trying to spend so much time right now catching deers. Um, 
that I haven't been going to the range near as much as I normally do. Um, but stay tuned. I'm going to get this sighted in as soon as I can. Um, that'll probably be the day that a buck walks under my stand, but that's just how it goes. But <laughs> appreciate y'all watching. Thanks, everybody, uh, for letting me know about this um, and asking for me to get one. And we picked it up. So I'm going to turn that trigger down, get that arcing on there. And we're going to get to slinging some boot lights. Appreciate y'all. Stay tuned for more. Make sure you've checked out hootiehoo.com. Checked out the newsletter. Uh, we got all kind of cool stuff on there. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie hoo.